Welcome to the Tech Yorker Guides channel. In this video, we will explain why the command prompt app is not working on a Windows 11 PC. For some users, the app doesn't start correctly and for others, the app encounters issues while running the commands. Whichever is the case with you, the following methods will help you get the command prompt working again. First of all, if you cannot run command prompt using the start menu, you can use the task manager to run the exe file directly. Just press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape key to launch the task manager. Then click on the run new task button, type cmd.exe and then click on the create this task with administrator privileges checkbox. Click on the OK button and the command prompt will launch. Another method to launch the command prompt is by using the syswow64 folder located inside the C drive. Just click on the C drive and then double click on the Windows folder. Scroll down all the way to the bottom and then double click on the syswow64 folder. Search for the cmd.exe app in this folder and then double click on the search result to launch the command prompt. The next method that you can try to fix command prompt issue is by editing the environment variables. Search for environment variables in the start menu and then launch the system properties tool. Click on the environment variables and then double click on the path option. Now you must add a new path that will help the command prompt run without any issue. Paste the location of the syswow folder or type what I am adding and then click on the OK button. Now click on OK and then restart your PC to apply the changes. You can also enable command prompt via the group policy editor if it is not working on your PC. Type gpedit and then launch the tool. Now you need to double click on the user configuration option. Click on administrative templates and then click on the system folder. Now find the prevent access to the command prompt policy and double click on it. If it is set to enabled or disabled, you must select the not configured option and then click on the apply button. Click on OK and then restart your PC to enable command prompt on your system. If you do not have the group policy editor, you can implement the same change via the registry editor. Launch the registry editor app and navigate to the policies registry key of your system. Now you must modify the system sub key under the policies key. If the system key doesn't exist, you must create it under the policies key. Then right click on the system key and select a new D word 32 bit value. Name this key disable CMD and then double click on it to open its properties. Set the value data to 0 and keep the base hexadecimal. Save your settings and then restart your PC to re-enable command prompt. If the current user account is corrupted, you must create a new user account. Simply search for other users in the start menu and then click on the add account option. Make sure to disable your internet connection Otherwise, the process will require a Microsoft account. Enter all the relevant 
credentials including the name, password and the three security questions along with their answers. Make sure to copy all the question and answers to a text file. Then click on next and the new user will be created. Change its account type to administrator and then click on the ok button. Now switch to this new user profile and check if command prompt works or not. Lastly, you can use the system restore option to revert your PC to a point in time when everything worked fine. Often new app or update installation can create new problems for system apps. So use the system restore feature to revert to an older restore point. That's all for this video guys. Do like and share this video with other Windows users. Also subscribe to the TechYorker Guide channel and check out our website techyorker.com for more such helpful and detailed guides.